Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CCT, Certified Zen Tango Teacher. And today's lesson is Frost Flower. It got down really cold last night here in the Utah, which is, we're desert, but to get that cold in July is very rare. It got down to 46 degrees. So I thought, well, some places probably in the mountains we had a little frost. So I am going to do Frost Flower. And I am going to do it on a three inch circle that I cut on my Fisker cutter. Huge, you can see Fisker cutter, and it does a huge hole punch, but I love it. So we're just going to start out. And I am not going to do dots or borders today. You can, I did dots and borders on this one, I did not on the other two. So we're just going to start out by drawing a little asterisk. So it is um, lines going, crossing, and then crossing over. And you make several of these on your paper, just random. I can skip there a little bit. And I'm using a brown pen. I'm not sure that's going to show up so well today. Actually, it is sepia. It's not, no. I believe this one's called brown. And the one that looks like it should be brown is called sepia. So I think this one's more a sepia color. So now that we have all our little asterisks, we're just going to start by drawing parallel lines from the center. And then I'm going to skip. You know how we've done a little highlight? And then draw lines out. Then rotate. And draw. And rotate. Skip. You want to do a little skip space. What that does is create a little highlight. You can really see it on the black. Maybe not so much on the brown paper. And you can just skip two and then go all the way out. And it doesn't matter if your lines are longer or shorter. It does kind of matter. You kind of want to start narrowing down as you get to the tip. This one goes out. And then straight out without a skip. And then slowly get smaller as they come down. And there we have one frost flower. Now I'm going to continue to do these frost flowers and they're going to just kind of connect up to each other. So I'm going to do this one that you can so you can see. And I just draw it so it just goes right in to that other flower. And the more you do these, the tighter they look. And you want that little frost flower, those lines to be very close together. So I've used an 01 by Secura. It's a very fine tip so that I can get very close together lines, very fine looking drawing. And if you look closely, you can see the little sparkle, that's what I call it, that you get on each one of those little frost flowers. And you can see that kind of looks like it overlaps it. Helen Williams is in a different hemisphere than I am. And so I believe last year about this time is when she did frost flower. I could be mistaken. I just know 
that I drew it for the first time. And I have a date on my tile that says 2015. So. Now we're ready to move on to the next one. You can see how I'm connecting them right into each other. There we have our last little frost flower. Now, to give it some little pop, like I say, you can shade this with um, your graphite pencil, or you can just, I like to go in and put some little dark circles. Actually, they're just little dots in between or out on the outside edge, just to give it some little emphasis. And you can see how that kind of help brightens it up. I have a, um, a colored pencil by Rembrandt. Let's see what a little color little bright I mean let's see if I can find a different color and let's see what a little shading will do on this I haven't shaded on this paper before so be trouble here. Mm, that's not bad. I like I like the shading on that. Might try a couple of different colors of color pencil. This one might be a fun one. with my blending stump. And there we have frost flower. And frost flower done on black with a white jelly roll. Done on just a little bit different with some white accents. That's just on a little brown paper. And black with um, your graphite shading. And there you have frost flower by Helen Williams. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. Thank you.